Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at this great new program to be able to sync folders to crates and subcrates in Scratch Live. Now if you watch my other videos, there's already other programs out there that can do this, namely Scratch Tools and the Itch Sync program, uh, which both are good tools. However, uh, Scratch Tools is kind of a little um, hard to use for most people. It's a command line based program. Uh, so that Itch Sync program came out and it's a little bit better. Uh, don't have to mess around with all the command lines. However, you still had to set up that properties file, and a lot of people still had trouble with that. So, as of yet, there hasn't been a program with a nice user interface to be able to sync folders to crates and subcrates in Scratch Live. Uh, well, that's all changed now with the introduction of this new program called Alchemy Zinc. Like Scratch Tools and the Itch Sync program, the main purpose of this program is to be able to sync folders and subfolders and whatnot on your hard drive to crates and subcrates in Scratch Live, a feature that's been missing. Ever since Scratch Live has been introduced since 2004, there's still not a way to be able to easily sync folders to crates in Scratch Live. And when you add new songs to those folders, a way to update those crates without having to manually go into the files panel and drag and drop all the new files from all the different folders to all your crates in Scratch Live. So as you can see, uh, there's very much a need for this product, especially if you don't use something like iTunes, which I personally don't like using, but I know a lot of people do. I'm old school. I like setting up folders on my hard drive, organizing them uh, very tediously. Uh, I'm just kind of anal like that. But uh, back on topic though, so there hasn't been a program with a nice user interface to be able to do this. Scratch tools and itch sync, while they're good, you know, they didn't have a, uh, any user interface. It's very difficult to use if you're not very computer savvy. I mean, I still get messages weekly pretty much on how to use scratch tools or the itch sync program. But that's all going to change now with this new Alchemy Zinc program. It has a nice user interface for you to be able to set up your folders, subfolders, and sync them to crates and subcrates in Scratch Live, Itch, or DJ Intro. It will work with all three programs since they all share the same database file now. So if we open up the program, this is what you're going to see. The first thing you want to do probably is go into the Configure menu. And here you're going to need to set the location of your underscore Serato underscore folder. Now, if you use your internal drive only for all your music and crates, then you're going to want to specify the, the Serato folder in your music folder. If you're on a Mac, if you're on Windows, uh, it'll be in your My Music folder. So you'll have your underscore Serato underscore folder right here, and you just want to select that one. Now, if you use an external drive, though, so let me plug mine in. So here's my external drive. Remember, there is also the Serato folder on the root level of your external drive. And if you use an external drive to store all your music, you're going to want to select this one, not the internal drive one. So if you use an external drive, make sure you go to your external one and select the Serato folder there on the root level of your external drive. If you use an external drive and select the internal drives folder, all your songs are going to be pink and missing in Scratch Live when it goes to sync it. So just make sure if you use an external drive, use your external drive Serato folder. If you use your internal drive, use your internal drive Serato folder, which I'm going to be using in this video. Let me just eject my uh, external real quick, excuse me. All right, so back here in the configuration panel. So the main point of this is to set your Serato folder. And this is basically how the program works, because it has to write the crate files to uh, the subcrate folder in your Serato folder. Now, the next option, overwrite existing crates. If you already have crates in Scratch Live and you want to keep them, make sure you have this option unchecked. If you have it checked, it's going to erase everything you have in Scratch Live. In addition, if you use the date added column in Scratch Live or Serato Itch, which I know a lot of people do because a lot of people want to know their newer songs from their older songs. If you have this option check, it will erase the date added column tag, uh, which obviously many people don't want. So for the most part, you're going to want to leave the override existing crates option unchecked. Auto backup before sync. This will back up your Serato folder before it does its thing, uh, just in the off chance that something does go wrong, which it shouldn't. But in case you know you accidentally delete your Serato folder, you have a nice backup that you can restore and get all your crates back and whatnot. Enable dynamic UI. This is mainly for Mac users only. Um, I'm not exactly sure the point of it, but it's checked usually by default. Uh, something about screen flicker, obviously. Uh, application theme. It has different skins, I guess you want to say. So if you you know, change the look a bit, it won't change any of the icons. It basically just changes the color of the uh, boxes and whatnot. A lot of different themes. Uh, kind of like a day and night mode. Um, so yeah, just got a little bit different skins for it. I like the graphite one. Uh, but anyway, so the main part is you want to set your Serato folder right here in this part. That's basically the important part. All right, so we're going to save that. So over here now, up at the top, we have the add media roots. This is how you're going to add the folders that you want to sync to crates and subcrates and scratch live. Uh, so we're going to click on this. 
And I want this folder here. I'll go to my music folder and DJ music. I want this folder right here. And then I have various other subfolders in there with even more subfolders. But you're going to want to select the main parent folder that contains all the other folders that you want to sync. So the parent folder I want is this DJ music folder right here. So I'm going to choose that one. And now if you click on here, it'll can collapse and expand uh, all the, win the uh, different subfolders that it has in it. So this is basically how it's going to look in Scratch Live or Itch. This is going to be basically what your crate structure looks like. And that's exactly how I'd want it. This is how it looks, you know, here in uh, a finder, pretty much identical. And this is how it's going to look in Scratch Live as well. So once you're all set, you have your folders set up. And you can add more than just one. Say if I have another folder I wanted to add right here, uh, you know, if I want to add this house and techno one or... Uh, you know, any other folder. You can, do, you can do more than one folder, which is an advantage that uh, the itch sync program couldn't do without at least, you know, setting up multiple properties files. So you can add just more than one folder if you want. You can add multiple folders. Uh, you can also rename the folders right here. Or if you don't want to add a whole folder, but just a couple of files, you can select individual files right here with the add media file. Uh, but the main important thing we want to do now is this button right here, synchronize crates. And let me just open up Scratch Live first of all, too. So here we are in Scratch Live. As you can see, I have no crates or subcrates. Let me just close out a bit. And also, you want to make sure Scratch Live is closed or itch is closed before you run the uh, synchronization. Otherwise, it won't show up until your next time you open Scratch Live. So it's going to click on the Synchronize Crates button, and you're going to get a little window. Uh, the first window is going to be Back Out Process, which we had checked, so it'll first back up everything first. And then it'll do its thing right here in the Synchronize Crates window. And voila, that is all there is to it. So if we open Scratch Live again now, we should see that folder directory structure imported here into Scratch Live. So here we go, DJ Music right here. And then we have the 2012 folder with all the different month folders that I have set up. My EDM folder with all the different uh, genres of electronic dance music. And then my top 40, top 40 folder, which I use for, uh, you know, pretty much non-electronic dance music. Uh, house, or not house, excuse me, rap, hip-hop, R&B, rock, country, all that good stuff. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, everything is synced up to crates and subcrates in Scratch Live. So uh, that is basically the main point of this program. Uh, offers many advantages over the previous program, Scratch Tools and the Itch Sync. Uh, but in addition to just syncing crates, you can also do a lot more with this program. Copy to device right here. Say you have you know an external drive, you want to move stuff over from your internal drive to your external drive, or vice versa. Or, not that I condone piracy or anything like that, but let's say, you know, your friend comes over and, you know, plugs in his drive and wants your crates or you want to give him some stuff like that, uh, you can do that as well. Export to CSV. Uh, this is a lot of thing a lot of people want. Let's say, uh, you know, you want a nice printout list of all your songs in a crate. Uh, so you can export a crate to a CSV file, uh, which will basically just look like this, and then you can open the CSV file in uh, Excel or another spreadsheet program and it'll be nice and separated uh, into the different columns so you have a nice printout of all uh, your songs in that crate. Uh, backup crates, you can do this uh, manually too anytime with this button right here uh, but again if you have the option checked in the configure panel it'll automatically back up every time you sync uh, set columns. If you don't want to go through each and every column in Scratch Live you can set up your columns in here in the program uh, which if you want to select is this uh, just like in Scratch Live and Itch, the very rightmost column. And then you can pick your columns right here. And if you click the Set Columns button, that will set the columns. Uh, if you want to do that, you're going to have to select your Serato folder again and do that. And voila, column value is updated. So now all my crates will have these columns that I had selected up here in this order in Scratch Live. You can also find lost files. So if you move files around on your, in your folders, uh, you, know, you can use this option to uh, locate the lost files. Import database. If you already have uh, another or Serato uh, database set up, or you have multiple ones, you know you can import these uh, as well. So again, you're just going to uh, select your other Serato folder, like I have one here. I have Serato and Serato one, which is a different database. I can import that as well. Uh, so voila, this is the Alchemy Zinc program. Again, a nice graphical user interface program to be able to finally sync folders to crates and subcrates in Scratch Live. Uh, and that is pretty much it for this video. So this is a great new program. Unfortunately, though, unlike Scratch Tools and Itch Sync, this is not going to be free. This is going to be a paid program, and the price is yet to be determined, but I believe it's going to be $30. So it's a small price to pay for something that a lot of people have been dying for, for in Scratch Live. You know, Scratch Live has been out now since 2004, 
and you know there's still not an easy way to be able to sync folders and subfolders to crates and subcrates in Scratch Live. In addition to that, when you you know add new files to those folders, you know you have to manually go into the files panel and navigate to the folder and drag the new files over into the crates, and it's just very tedious and time consuming. I don't understand why Serato haven't uh, implemented this feature yet. Uh, but we have this new Alchemy Zinc program, which can do all this for you now with a nice graphical user interface to go on top of that. So no more messing around with command lines or properties files like Scratch Tools and the other Itch Sync program. Uh, so this is it. So this is the Alchemy Zinc program. Uh, it's going to be coming out very soon. And this is going to be my first look at it. So definitely, if, uh, you know, something you might need. Uh, now we have an option with an, a program with a nice user interface to be able to sync your folders to crates and subcrates in Scratch Live.